Hello guys, welcome back to Zintax, Andrea Mapito here and in this video we are going to talk about the Albanian Income Tax 2023. Esentax is a channel in which we talk about the taxation, how to optimize the taxation in the country you want to relocate into in Europe. We are number one channel on the Italian tax system and <clears throat> we basically help people to understand exactly how to reduce their tax burden and plan a long optimization tax strategy. In the description below the video you will find our contact email info at centaxa.com or you can also book a 50 minute consultation for free in which you can call us and we can drive you through our consultancy services, the most important and more suitable service that might be helpful for your specific case, uh, for your specific situation. Today we're going to talk about Albania. Uh, it's a country which is right in front of Italy and sharing the Mediterranean Sea, well, the Adriatic Sea, so just around in front of the south of Italy. If you imagine Italy, it's a boot. Part of the hill of the boot is right in front of Albania. So it's very close to Italy. So it might be an alternative jurisdiction in case you want to enjoy the same weather, the same lifestyle with a lower cost of living and with a very nice taxation system. And we always try to optimize our taxes down to zero or less as possible. So here we're going to explore the jurisdiction for the first time and it will be very, very interesting to understand how the income tax rate works first on individual and in the second moment <clears throat> on entities. If you like this kind of content, like button please to help us grow as a channel and the notification bell and subscribe the channel of course to be always notified for free and receive video and this kind of information whenever you are watching YouTube. Thank you for this. So Albanian income tax rate is very interesting because in 2023 the government decides to change a little bit the, the structure. Uh, we are going to see directly what's going to happen in 2023. So first of all we have to put two currencies the LEC, which is the national the Albanian currency, and uh, I also put the, the conversion and conversion exchange rate in euro of today, which is basically uh, this video uh, has been recorded in uh, February 2023. So, uh, and this income tax, it's only for employment, okay? So this is for employment, because then we see how is the taxation when we change the type of income. Huh? So employment, you are employee in Albanian for a multinational company, for a local company, and this is the tax rate you're going to have. What is more interesting is more likely you are going to fall in this second tax bracket system when your income is bigger than 50,000 lek, okay? And then the tax brackets change. Okay, it's not this 0 and 6.5, but 0, 13, and 23. So you're going to have 0 up to, from 0 to uh, 30,000 lakh per year as income, 0%, like before. Between 30,000 and 200,000 lakh, which is basically uh, 1,738 euro per year. And this is going to be taxed at 13%. And everything above will be taxed at 23%. So, of course, uh, if you're watching the, your, this video, most likely uh, you don't have the salary that normally are perceived in Albania. You're most likely are out, living outside Albania with a bigger salary and you want to go in a country to, uh, that allows you to, 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 to reduce your taxation. So looking at this table, it looks to be not so much convenient because most likely your income will fall for sure at 23%. But this is only if you are perceiving an income as an employee, okay? So this is a very important to understand. Now we're going to check instead how is the taxation if you are a freelancer, if you are self-employed. So if you're running a business and you want to set up a business uh, as a um, sole trader business in Albania and you may have all clients from abroad, okay? For freelancer or self-employed, the uh, rules are very simple. It exists only a simple 15% flat tax for all your income. Easy, straightforward. So 50%, let me write it better here, 15%, which basically it's applicable on all your profits. So you first deduct your uh, uh, coherent expenses related to your business and then you apply the 15% flat rate, okay? If you're perceiving dividend from an uh, Albanian entity, things are getting more interesting you are basically taxed at only 8%. So this is for freelancer or self-employed activity, 
and this one are dividends. Now, dividends is like receiving dividends from an entity, which is an Albanian ent entity, but also if you're receiving a dividend from another country because the, your company is set up in another country, you have to make sure that the country where this company is incorporated withhold or doesn't withhold some taxes because then you have to check the convention to avoid the double taxation between Albania and the country from which you are perceiving the dividend. Okay? For example, if you're receiving the, the dividend from UK, so you have a limited uh, liability company incorporated in the UK, then for no resident, you will receive the dividend without withholding taxes. And you will all only be liable of this 80% taxes in Albania. Okay? So the combination, it's already a tax strategy. Yeah? That here I'm saying I'm, I'm already found some uh, a small tip for a tax strategy. If you have a company in the UK and you're living, for example, in Albania, you have, you have to only pay this 8% tax. What about the capital gains? Uh, capital gains tax, it's always tax as well for individual at 15% as well, okay? Here we are talking about individuals. So freelancer individual dividends towards individuals, capital gains towards individuals. 50%, and this is also is valid for capital gains obtained through um, cryptocurrencies, also for crypto, okay? Interests, 15%. As you can see here, the rate is always almost most the same. It's more convenient than the rates that we have seen before under the employment situation. So here also interest. And also other type of incomes fall into 15% rate, such as rental income, or such as income from of general nature, and also foreign income, okay? So this is most likely the rates that will be applicable on your general income. But now things are getting extremely interesting because Albanian now is known for having a zero tax on corporate level. So if you incorporate a company in Albania, so now we are moving to uh, entity taxation and not anymore individual taxation. So if we incorporate an, an entity, so we have an entity in Albania, the corporate tax, it's 0%, up to a certain limit. And after this limit will be at 15%. So we will have a sort of double tax bracket that works like this. So um, the profit is taxed at 0% if your profit is below 14 million lek, which is in euro, it's like, uh, let me check here my notes, it's 121,686 euro, okay? So up to 121,000 euro, you pay 0% in profit. And this is very good. Everything above will be at 15%. So above this 121,000K will be taxed at 15%. And then you can see here, things are getting extremely interesting because if your income is below 100,000, um, sorry, 121,000 euro, um, you can have at corporate level 0% taxation and then your dividend will be um, withdrawn at only 8%, as we have seen before, okay? So this is the most interesting uh, element that we can have in Albania. So in Albania, it will be extremely interesting if you want to incorporate a company, if you want to use a company and run some business at the entity level. Also, the dividend are very limited. 8%, it's a very low taxation. And keep in mind that Albania is not part of the European Union, so it doesn't really follow the same European Union laws and directives. And for example, one of the things that are extremely interesting is that Albania doesn't apply, doesn't follow the CFC rules. So uh, I have made a video about this CFC rules, which is basic. I'll just give you a quick introduction in this video about the CFC rules. Basically, if I'm owning a company which is in a jurisdiction where the, uh, the taxation is very low, so in a tax-heaven country, I will be liable on taxes in my country of residence 
through transparency. So as a physical person, I have to pay taxes on my personal level, even though I'm making profit with this company that is controlled entirely by me. And this is the CFC rules to avoid money laundering and this kind of tax shift profit and this kind of things. Uh, in Albania doesn't have this rule, okay? But if you want to know more about the CFC rules, in the description below the video, I will put the link to the uh, explanation of how the CFC rules works in Europe. So Albania doesn't have this uh, feature. And this is system, this zero system works in general level, but there are also other kind of companies in the sector, in the sector of software develop, development, uh, automation, where the 15% drop to only 5%, okay? And if you uh, build up our hotel, so a structure, uh, a resort of five star, this is specifically written in the law, the corporate tax is always zero. So you can see the Albanian government wants to uh, push more and more foreign investors to uh, invest in Albania through a resort to high five star hotels and also in the field of IT uh, software development because the tax rate, the corporate tax rate will be reduced to 5%. I think I've said quite enough about Albania. If you want to know more about this country, you can write us at info at You can ask us for a consultation. We can check and understand for your specific situation if this country makes more sense for you rather than Italy, for example, which is right in front of it, uh, right in front of the cost. Uh, but of course, of course, we also cover Belgium and we cover uh, Portugal. For Italy, uh, since we are the number one channel on Italian fiscal system and, and optimization tax, we are the number one channel in English that explains how and how we can optimize taxes in Italy, you will also find in the description below our video course in which we can explain you uh, step by step all the Italian fiscal system, all the structures, and you can basically use this course like it will be considered as a normal consultancy. And that's it for today. Again, subscribe to the channel, notification bell, a like button, and see you to the next video.